morning, everybody. That, that was Candy McLaughlin from the town manager's office. If you're working the town manager's office, you have to have lots of different skills. So. That's why she was hired. Yeah, that's why she's here today. Um, I want to thank everybody for coming. This was a, uh, uh, an exciting event for us to inaugurate our parklet. Um, this morning before I came over, um, I googled the word parklet because my wife kept asking me last night, well, what's a parklet? Where'd the term come from? Um, and on Google, the number two item under Parklet was the presentation that Melissa made to our HBC oh, on a Parklet. So we've made it. We're big time now. We're in Google. <laughs> um, there's a number of people that we've asked to say a few words this morning. Um, I just want to start off by um, recognizing um, the many, many town staff who were involved um, in bringing this project forward. Um, we worked closely with the police department, um, who for obvious reasons were concerned about public safety and worked closely with us. Um, we worked with the engineering department. You would think that getting this just deck in would just be laying it down, but in fact, we had a number of engineers who had to figure out how to get it to be flat and smooth and not a, a tripping hazard. So from our public works folks, um, Engineering was a big help. Um, the planning staff um, was involved um, in all of this. Um, economic development, Melissa, who took the lead with getting it through our many committees. And then um, last, um, our public works. And I see Butch in the back, and Butch would just raise your hand because Butch led. Bush led the crew that had to put together all the pieces and make it all work um, and was back here three or four times um, to construct this erector set is basically um, what it is. Um, and as you can see, it, it just looks terrific. Um, so thanks to our, the guys from Public Works for hanging in there with us for something completely new and, and we think one of the first, if not the first in Massachusetts to have a park with. Um, so with that, I want to introduce Melissa Tintaklis, our Economic Development Director. You can also say a few words. Thank you. So, thank you so much for coming here today. Um, we're thrilled to see this come to fruition. What started out as, you know, a response to solve a problem for one business to accommodate some bicyclist um, patrons, Ride Studio, um, really evolved and took, you know, a new form, working with the Board of Selectmen, working with our different committees. Um, we took, a, we took a pilot project last year, and it was just a bike corral, and we saw a 60% increase in bike activity because of that. Um, and from that, it evolved into what you see today, which is a hybrid, not only of the bike parking, but now also um, outdoor seating. And I wanted to thank all the businesses, because without the business support, a vision and an idea like this cannot get implemented. So thank you to the Michaelsons, the longtime businesses that have been here, Rankatories, to the other businesses, Stephanie Lewis, Greater Boston Running Company, Great Harvest, that have also been here and also keeping us mindful that even though we're taking two parking spaces, that vehicle parking space is still important. So we're working on that and we do have a separate initiative on that. Um, and then I want to thank the new businesses, you know, have come to town. Orange Leaf, Ride Studio, you know, it's a boutique business. It's a combination of high-end bicycle sales and coffee and it's really exciting to see here in Lexington. So I think this project only increases like fresh interest in our town center. It keeps it relevant and it keeps our businesses thriving. So thank you to all the businesses and I'll have Marianne Paul Taylor, our director of planning, thank a few more people because it's a team effort. <laughs> right. We had a great group of volunteers from residents. They had no, you know, stake in the game, but they came forward and helped. We wanted to thank the Seasons Four, which donated the furniture, the plantings, and you might remember last year they worked on the um, parking day where we had the nice sod and cushy cushions, and it was great. And that's really what got us started going on thinking about maybe we should do this for longer than three days, and they've been just great. 
Um, we also had the Garden Club out here on probably the hottest day of the year so far, planting in the middle of the day. As one said, my father always said, mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday sun, so there they were. And that was Ann Webster, Shirley Burgey, Sue Bush, Ray Gilder, Kate Gill, and Georgina Harris. So we thank them. We also had the help and support of the Historic Districts Commission, the Chamber of Commerce, the Center Committee, the Tourism Committee, the Bike Committee, the Board of Selectmen, and I'm sure that there are some other committees that I have not mentioned because if we have nothing else, we have committees in town. <laughs> and everybody's really pitched in and it's been great. And it's been a long process. We thought we'd be ready May 1st. Well, here it is almost July 1st, and we are finally ready to go but we've actually had to move people out of the construction zone because it, you know they really wanted to use this space. So we hope it'll be a real asset to the community. So thanks for all of those who made it possible. Thank you. And um, this is more than just an amenity um, for people who are in the downtown. It's also part of our transportation program, our alternative transportation program to encourage both pedestrians and bicyclists um, to come into our center. And so we have three representatives from the state today, all who have been tremendous, tremendous supporters of alternative transportation projects. And first, let me introduce Catherine Cagle from MassDOT. everybody it's uh, pretty wonderful to be here um, this is I think the first parklet in Massachusetts and Woo! having seen <laughs> lots of them on blogs around the country and going ah oh, it's great to be here at one um, amazing juxtaposition with the downtown and I think as everybody's you know said um, mascots a new transportation agency we're not your uh, father's DOT as we like to say and um, you know on behalf of Secretary Davey I'm here to you know, really welcome and open the parklet. But uh, healthy transportation is something that Mascot is committed to. We want to see more biking, walking, and transit use. Um, with our Green Dot policy, that's really our agency's framework. And this is a great example of a, uh, a success that's here for everybody to enjoy. I look forward to a cup of coffee afterwards. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and another just huge supporter of, of Transit and public transit in the town is our state senator Ken Donnelly. Thank you, thank you, Cal. Thank you, and thank you for having me here today. And, and uh, this is an inspiration. Uh, I, I really enjoy seeing uh, these efforts to have multimodal transportation. And I will tell you that Lexington Senate inspired me to step up to the plate in East Arlington. And Mass Dot uh, will know that I've been hounding them to make sure that we did uh, the East Arlington project, which would be uh, friendlier for bicyclists, for pedestrians, and even though there was an over, there was a vote, non-binding referendum to say no, we have pushed DOT to go forward with that project because this is what I think that we can do in other parts of Mass Ave and other parts of the state. So you're a leader in this. It's uh, it's well, uh, it really is well timed. It's a beautiful place and. And it's uh, about time that we uh, do something for the bicyclists and pedestrians instead of having major throughways through our cities and towns. So thank you. <laughs> and from Representative Jay Kaufman's office, Sean Fitzgerald is here. Thank you, Carl. Thank you, everyone. Um, I can tell you that Jay would have loved to have been here today. This is definitely his type of event refreshments and bike people <laughs> so he is actually seeing his son get married and that's why he can't attend but um, he would absolutely say that this is the type of thing that you need to keep Lexington fostering as a community a community-based initiative and he would love to probably say that Lexington was the birthplace of the American Revolution and it's the birthplace of the parklet so thank you. <laughs> and, um, Lastly, really, the last piece of this that we needed to pull this off was the support of our Board of Selectmen. And uh, two of our selectmen are here today. Hank Mance is in the back. Oh, there's three selectmen. And who, oh, and Joe Pato is here. Um, and on behalf of the board, Norman Cohen is going to say a few words about our center efforts. Uh, I'm not Deb Marger. 
but uh, she couldn't be here, and so I'm taking her place. The uh, Board of Selectmen have been very supportive of this. It's really a very exciting project. We hope that it, it's going to bring vitality to the town. We hope there's going to be new initiatives. Melissa, do you get some other ideas of what we can do? And look at all of this crowd. You're now down in the center, so after we get through, go into the shops and buy things and really use the center this summer. Thanks very much. Thank you, Mike. So, um, we're going to do the ribbon cutting now. We'll do a um, ceremonial ribbon cutting.